Guys, 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 um, I am gonna just throw up a quick video on the tangibility and the use case for gold. Um, how I think that it is truly an asset class that you should get into now because it's 1385 uh, per ounce and that is supposedly a technical analysis breakpoint. Um, so I think you should try to get in if, if you don't have, you know, if you're not 50-50 on your gold-silver personal ratio, I think you should get into gold um, before it starts going up. And I think you should just hold it as kind of insurance for long term. Um, and then I think you should also, it's, it's okay to speculate on some of it, but um, I think it's a great hedge. Um, it's not tied to, uh, tied to uh, the banking system. So it's outside of the banking system. It's peer to peer. It's, it's a store of value. It's an uncorrelated asset. So it's not like tied to all the, you know, stock market and stuff. And, um, you know, silver is the, uh, the mini version of gold. So I think you should get into silver as well. I think you guys should stay tuned to learn about the, how, how it is a great hedge against inflation and against calamity and just as a different form of currency and money. Smash that like button and subscribe. Okay, so guys, here's just an example of gold bullion. And um, I think you should hold gold bullion. This is uh, 20 pesos, it's 1959. Anyways, um, so gold, uh, but gold is um, tangible against uh, the US dollar not being the <laughs> reserve currency. Like, um, and this is silver here, um, just to show you guys that there's government bank backed silver and gold. Um, these are Canadian. Here's a gold is tangible. It's physical um, store of value. Um, it's uncorrelated to stocks to some extent. Um, the less correlation, the better it is as a hedge. That's why Ray Dalio and other billionaires use it as a hedge. Um, you know, also there's governments that are buying it as um, a backing um, for their central ba banks and, you know, as a possible like way to kind of overthrow the U.S. as uh, the dominant, uh, you know, world currency, world reserve currency. So central banks are, are doubling up or increasing their buying. Um, gold is mined, but it's also like they say it's it's. You know, there, it's you can't just like create gold out of thin air. So it's uh, there's a supply and demand element to it. It's a hedge. Um, it also has not been so like QE is what's been happening. You know, quantitative easing has helped stocks and real estate. And real estate, I love. I think real estate is a great tangible asset, and it's a business as well. And I can get into real estate, but uh, gold and silver, precious metals, are tangible goods that have not been inflated like everything else, stocks, real estate, and other businesses because of, you know, easy lending, etc. cetera. Um, but, uh, you know, um, here, I'm just gonna show you guys some of my preciouses. Um, but anyways, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is uh, gold is something that everybody should have and tangible gold is, uh, you know, like this peso here. Um, is definitely something that you should have. Um, but the reason why I'm doing this video is because I haven't really talked about, you know, the why of it, why I invest. Um, it's because of this, like this physical, tangible nature of gold and silver uh, versus this is really just a bank note. It's just really just an IOU. And all this is is really cotton, um, cotton fibers that make this. Uh, whereas this is a tangible asset. Silver is kind of an interesting hedge because not only is silver um, smaller increments, it has a tendency to fluctuate with gold. Um, and it right now it seems to be trailing gold. Oh. But uh, I think it has a tendency to, uh, uh, to uh, it, it could go on a big bull run. So what I'm doing is I'm holding a certain amount of silver and gold. <laughs> Here's actually some more gold that I have. Um, I'm basically going to hold silver and gold, but in the meantime, um, I'm going to uh, just accumulate it and have my own holdings, but then I'm also going to, um, sorry, I'm mesmerized by these beautiful pieces. This is a 
19, pre-1933 gold uh, American, uh, uh, I think it's uh, $5 or, yeah. Um, but so yeah, so it's uh, gold is tangible. It's a uh, portable um, store of wealth. Um, another thing to look at is Bitcoin because that's an uncorrelated asset class um, and it is a store value. They call it gold 2.0, but I wouldn't put too much of your net worth into Bitcoin yet, maybe 1%. And I put like 2 to 10% of your net worth, maybe even 20% of your net worth in gold, depending on how, what your total net worth is right now um, and how you need to hedge. And your hedging is dep dependent on, you know, what your personal finances are. So it really all just kind of depends on what your goals are. But um, I see right now, for me, I'm doing 50% of my stack is going to be just stuff that I'm going to hold on long term. And it's kind of like a collection, something that makes me happy. These are more pre-1933 gold coins from the U.S. Um, but... Uh, it also is, is a hedge against um, inflation. It's a hedge. Uh, stocks are also a hedge against inflation because they go up over time too. But um, it, it's a hedge against financial system. And it's if, if you don't like 100% believe that, like, you know, we're going to just go on this bull run forever, then um, you should definitely be hedging with uh, silver, gold, precious metals, maybe even, even some platinum. Um, and uh, yeah, so... Just wanted to quickly make this video. Here's a Britannia. Uh, these are all government uh, grade bullions, but some of them like this Morgan are, um, you know, kind of collector's items because they're older. Uh, but uh, here's a Canadian silver. Um, but yeah, so what I'm trying to say to you guys is uh, stack gold, stack silver. If you hold it physically like this, you're outside of the financial system because there's a lot of like ETFs like GLD, GLDM, which I do do recommend because they're very liquid and easy to buy and sell and they don't have a lot of fees. Um, some of these physical ones, um, you do pay a premium, but it, watch my old videos on how I get these for near spot price and for lower than spot price. Anyways, guys, Metal Bums out. And I just want to make this quick, serious video about why you should stack silver and gold. And also to, to let you know, I think gold is going to go on a bull run pretty soon. Um, it broke out of some key uh, technical levels, technical analysis is what they call it. But um, it kind of covers like sentiment and uh, just uh, uh, charts, charting, basically. Um, it, it went over 1385, which was like a... A holding level, but I'm going to just up this video real quick. Look at my other older videos on how to get physical precious metal and sell this and trade it for this. Um, yeah, so uh, gold is a, you know, to sum it up, it's outside of the financial system, outside of the banking system. So it's a perfect hedge and insurance. It's peer to peer. So you can trade it with other peers uh, in a private way. It's it's something that you can trust as long as you can verify that it is real. Um, it's a store of value. Um, you put money in this and it's not like going to instantly be worth nothing. It'll never be worth nothing because another way that it's a hedge and it diversifies is that uh, gold and silver is also um, used in industry. So that's another way that it's diversifying what you have. So, um, you know, listen to guys like Ray Dalio. They, they, are very logical and they buy gold and silver. Um, and why I'm buying the physical stuff is that the tangible nature allows you to be outside of the system completely and portable. And uh, it's kind of for shit hits the fan scenarios and for insurance. But also what I'm trying to say is 50% of it, I think I am gonna speculate with because I think silver and gold, look back on you know 2008, um, 2008, uh, when there was a crash, um, back here it spiked. So um, I think that's gonna happen again in 2008 to 11, it went on a bull run, it's way down here. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this up because I need to get back to work. So Metal Bombs out.